coming in the court hearing in Tista Sitelwar bail plea case. And now Gujarat government has put in their submissions in the Supreme Court this time now. Basically making the same allegations that they had made in the Gujarat court. They are saying that Tista Sitelwar was involved in hatching a conspiracy at the behest of a senior political leader. She also according to Gujarat government received large sums of money. Harish, my colleague who's been tracking these developments in the apex court is now joining us. Harish, what were the submissions made? Please run us through the highlights. Yes, Priya. I mean, uh, this affidavit uh, in fact comes a day before uh, ahead of uh, the Supreme Court hearing of uh, Tista Sitilwar's uh, bail application, which is uh, listed uh, tomorrow. Uh, so, in, in almost in line with the stand taken in the Gujarat Sessions Court, uh, the Gujarat government has uh, filed an affidavit, affidavit before the Supreme Court that the affair against uh, rights activist Tista for falsifying evidence related to the Gu 2002 Gujarat riots is not solely based on the Supreme Court's judgment, uh, but is backed by very strong evidence. There is very strong evidence against her of involving in criminal conspiracy and uh, fabrication of evidence under the tutoring witness. And all this uh, she did at the behest of a uh, senior uh, politician. Uh, remember, in fact, in this affidavit, she has not, uh, the Gujarat government has not named Ahmed Patel, but in the Gujarat uh, uh, petition affidavit filed in the Gujarat Sessions Court, they had very clearly named Ahmed Patel as the politician by, and as, as has been earlier reported by Times now. And in the Supreme Court affidavit, uh, the Gujarat state uh, has uh, submitted that the investigation so far has revealed a prima facie case against Sitalwad for fabricating and falsifying evidence related to uh, communal riots of 2002 in order to fabric, uh, fabricate evidence and uh, in fact uh, frame several persons including uh, top bureaucrats and politicians including then Chief Minister Narendra Modi. So I read out from the affidavit it says, investigation conducted so far has brought irrefutable material on record to substantiate the contents of the FIR that the applicant along with other accused persons had done various criminal acts of commission and omission to achieve political, financial and other material benefits by means of executing the conspiracy. Pertinently, the affidavit said that the statement of witnesses established that Sitalwad conspired with a senior leader of a political party. Uh, again, from the affidavit it says, it is submitted that the statement of witnesses established that the conspiracy was enacted by the present petitioner along with other accused persons at the behest of a senior leader of a political party. It is submitted that the petitioner had held meetings with the said political leader and had received large amounts of money. It is submitted that it has come on record by way of the statement of a witness that such money was not part of any, relate, any relief related corpus. So essentially, Gujarat government uh, says that uh, she can as she might uh, again, um, in fact, uh, tamper with evidence and influences witnesses, and there are already allegations against her that uh, she had, in fact, entered into a criminal conspiracy and fabricated evidence and even uh, tutored witnesses and uh, several uh, witnesses. Uh, so, uh, and that is why, on the uh, after the Supreme Court had rejected uh, Zakia Jaffrey and Tista Sitalwar's petition seeking right. reopening of the Gujarat riots, uh, Supreme Court had observed that uh, she only wanted to keep the pot boiling and uh, let uh, pe such people be proceeded against in accordance with law. Remember, Priya, it was after this that the Gujarat, uh, uh, Gujarat police had, uh, in fact, arrested her and two others, that is uh, R.B. Srikumar and also Sanjeev Bhatt, along with Tista Sitalwad. Right. Very important points being made by the uh, Gujarat government there in the Supreme Court. The fact that uh, the action that they took against Tisa Sitalwar was not just a follow-up of the scathing comments that were made against her by the Supreme Court, but is based on hard facts. My colleague Kritsween now joins us with the details of this. Kritsween, uh, run us through the uh, important parts of this uh, document. Yes, absolutely. So this is the copy of the affidavit and uh, the particulars also mentioned here. Affidavit and reply on behalf of respondent number one, state of Gujarat. Now I'm going to quickly move over to the, uh, the main part of this affidavit. Uh, I'm going to move on to point number 10 because here is where it's clearly mentioned that I respectfully submit that the petitioner under the advice of eminent lawyers of petitioners already selected a correct remedy of seeking bail under section 439 CRPC. The respondent would be failing in its duty if it did not raise this preliminary objection as the respondents are bound to treat all accused persons similarly. In the most humble submission of the respondents, there will be no reason 
for the present petitioner to be allowed and to bypass the remedy. So these are some of the highlights of the affidavit and uh, you know quickly moving on and talking about uh, how it is respectfully submitted. That's what the affidavit says, respectfully submitted that such a direct challenge would not lie as laid down and where is judgment. It's the duty of the respondent to point out that if such a challenge is entertained, it would not be possible for the respondent to treat other accused differently. I therefore at the outset pray the question of maintainability may therefore be decided as preliminary issue. And these are the preliminary submissions on merit. I respectfully state and submit that the FR is not solely based on the judgment dated on 24th uh, of this year, 24th of uh, June. July, pa June passed by the Honourable Court. It is submitted that a pursuit of the FR shows that though the alleged offence commenced by some actions of the petitioner and others in her connivance and the legal proceedings concluded by the said judgment, the investigation is on independent grounds which is categorically clarified in the FIR itself. So the relevant portion of the FIR is reproduced here under. That's the relevant portion of the FIR also as has been mentioned in the affidavit and uh, Thereafter, it goes on to say it is submitted that the subject matter of the order dated 24 Ju June pertained to investigation into allegations made by several persons and organizations including the present petitioner. So only goes on to solidify what has already been maintained by the Gujarat government. But this is serious uh, right. charges that once again resurface why the affidavit that the Gujarat government says are backed by evidence that they have right now. Remember this hearing for bail plea is uh, scheduled to come up tomorrow in the Supreme Court. Times now will keep a track of all the developments. Thank you Kritsween for joining us. We move on to another important story which is about the potholes claiming lives. All the details on the other side.